hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Patricia in this video I have a pencil sketch with a fringe I start uh, my sketch by first um, trying to determine the front from the back and one trick I use is by looking at the direction of the text. So after we are done with that I go ahead and fold my fabric into about a third. I do this in order to save fabric. Now uh, after I'm done folding that I place my pattern on my fabric so this is of course folded and so I place the center front of my pattern on the fold for the front of the skirt and after I am satisfied with the placement I go ahead and pin all around the pattern and I proceed to cutting leaving um, 5 eighths of an inch for seam allowance The next I also proceed to cut in the back of the skirt and that I do not cut on fold so um, I make sure that I place my skirts the pattern on the green line if you want to know more about green line you can let me know and I can leave a link down below for more information on that next I just make sure that I make little snips all around for um, my notches and also I do this for my dart legs. This helps me in transferring my darts from the pattern to my fabric. Um, also, I, uh, I lost the footage for this, but then one thing I also do is I thread a needle and take it through the points of the darts and transfer it to my fabric. So that, um, that makes it really easy for me to transfer my darts. And here I am also pinning the band, the sketch band. Um, also of course cutting leaving 5 eighths of an inch I do this for the back um, and I do this for the front for the front of course I cut it on fold um, placing the center front of the band on the fold of my fabric now here are all my pieces all that I did for the skirt I did for my lining because I'm going to be lining my skirts and of course I also cut band pieces for the lining and remember the thread I was talking about that is what I'm cutting here and make sure I don't lose the thread from the point and then I connect that point to the snip that legs I guess I've already done that And so here I'm just matching the dart legs and um, I proceed and then I go ahead to pin the dart. Guys, this is a very um, nice trick that um, my teacher taught me some years back when I was learning how to sew um, and it's really been helpful. Before that, I hated transferring darts. It was the worst. Again, I'm just trying to show you another um, I'm trying to demo another one for you so yeah here is the darts um, I still have the thread in there and then I match my dart legs the snipped dart legs and I pin 
I do this for all um, I do this for the skirts and for the lining as long as I have a dart I do the same and I take the sewing machine after I dart um, are all sewn I go ahead to um, press the darts and then um, I move on to the next step right here I am fusing my interfacing with a band um, and you notice that I'm not just you know going back and forth with the iron I'm you know actually staying for a little bit before I move it all around that is how you want to fuse your interface into your fabric next I'm attaching the front of the band to the front of the skirt and I do this for the back I do this for my lining and I take it to the sewing machine So here we have all the pieces, the um, the skirts, the lining pieces are all done. And next thing I will do is to join them to one piece. And we have a skirt. I already went ahead to install the zipper. I did that. Um, I did not film the installation for the zipper, um, and I also my lining together I'm going to attach my lining to the skirt off camera I actually did film that but I did not include that in the video because the video was already getting too long um, our lining is now attached to our skirt and um, I don't know if I said this but then I did cut my lining exactly like the way I cut my uh, my skirt my main skirt so um, I do have this extra fabric for my slit which I have to cut from the lining because I don't need that um, the way I want to um, sew my lining I don't need that so I'm just cutting that bit off I do later on go into cut um, more because when I wore the skirt the lining was showing through the slit and of course that wasn't a pleasant sight so I did cut that off after I cut this off I went ahead to serge the raw edges and I stitched I closed the back um, opening um, to the points where it's curved after that is done I can now go ahead and hem my skirt um, also I go ahead I hem my slit as well I use a thread and needle I did not use my sewing machine for this process I still haven't really gained you know that expertise when it comes to hemming with a with a machine maybe I need a um, hemming for I think I do have the hemming for but I'm more comfortable using my thread and needle I feel I mean I'm more in control when I do um, but very soon I have to you know Get to that point where I'm able to comfortably use that um, to hem my dresses or my skirts. But for now, the skirt and needle. I'm sorry, the thread and needle. Even though it's, I hate it. It's annoying. It gives me the look that I want. So here I'm just pinning everything all around, and then I will sew. And so I'm done with all the hemming finally and um, I finish off and I clip my thread off. So here is our hem. It's all done and looking nice. And here is the fun part. This is where we attach our fringe. I'm so excited. I have not done this before and it was quite tricky because the fringe was going all over the place. And um, so I just go over the uh, my slit. You know I make sure I leave about an inch so of course you don't see the edge showing the edge of the fringe showing on the side so 
I pin all around and I take it to the sewing machine. You want to take your time with this. Um, the fringe was trying to get in the way, but just have to be patient and just stitch all around. I'm done so we are done sewing the fringe to the skirt and the fringe does have this um, this thread that holds everything together um, even that it was still a struggle but of course it was very helpful so of course you want to be smart you don't want to remove this before you stitch it after you stitch the fringe to the skirt you can go ahead and remove that and you have your fringe looking all free and loose and fun looking so our uh, skirt is done, it's all done, and now I cannot wait to wear this skirt. This skirt looks so much fun after I attach the fringe. Before that, it was just a normal, boring pencil skirt. But the fringe just gave it a different vibe. It just shushed it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. If you feel free to leave your comments below. If there's any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you. Love you all. Bye.